A.S. With everything else in life, effective parenting begins with God. Who is better to turn to for the foundational principles of parenting than the author of life and the founder of marriage and the family? From the dawn of the human race, God's design has been for us to raise up offspring to populate this planet. Producing and parenting children are a big part of the original mandate humanity received from our Creator. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. So, God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Genesis 1 26 28 and IV. And just as God created Adam and Eve in his own image, their children would in turn bear the image of their parents. Genesis 5 verifies that Adam and Eve fulfilled this mandate faithfully, as did the generations that succeeded them. This is the written account of Adam's line. When God created man, he made him. In the likeness of God, he created them male and female and blessed them. And when they were created, he called them man. When Adam had lived 130 years, he had a son in his own likeness, in his own image, and he named him Seth Genesis 5 to 1 to 3 Nif. God created man male and female in his own image and likeness. Notice that the general term, man, includes both male and female. Men and women together make up the race that is known as man or mankind, and together they in turn produced children in their image and likeness. The rest of the chapter lists each generation of Adam's descendants up to the days of Noah and his sons. In each case, whether referring to God and man or to parents and their children, the words, Because you broke! You're selling the wrong stuff. I was taking on a private tour in Atlantis the other day. Private tour, very secret tour. I was the only person there. And they took me on the, in the back room. They showed me the future of Atlantis. And I said, people would buy that? For a million dollars, a little, copy little thing. They said, it's almost sold out. They said, what we sell them is not the building. We sell them the amenities. No investor comes here because of the prime minister, because prime ministers change. Why would someone stake their whole life in a piece of property on Paradise Island or in Exuma? Not because of the government leader, because they know that they're all temporary. Let me tell you what the government offers, listen carefully please, an investor to make them spend billions of dollars. Here's what they offer them, stability. Guess what? God says, my throne is forever. He said, when you invest in my country, you ain't got to worry about no cool. His throne is forever. His government is forever. That's important. That's a stability statement. Write this down. Preach the store and not the door. How do you enter the kingdom? We got to get this right. You want to sell dresses. You want to open a dress store. You want to sell dresses, okay? That's your decision. You want to sell dresses. So you get a storefront downtown and you put all your beautiful dresses from the manufacturer in your store. You decorate your store beautifully with all these dresses, put them in the window and everything. And then you take your 60 second ad on the radio and you spend your entire ad talking about the door. You show the door. You show the color of the door, the height of the door, the width of the door. You show them the door made of mahogany, how it has little nuts in it. You show how beautiful the door is, how heavy it is, the weight of it, the size of it, the width of it. You begin to say, come to my door, the door is beautiful. Wonderful is the door, the door is awesome, the door is faithful, the door is everlasting, the door is eternal, the door, the door, the door. You will go broke. Because people ain't looking for door. 
they're looking for dress. Have you noticed? If you want to sell shoes, you don't advertise the door of the shoe store. Here's what I found out. If you show them your merchandise, they will find the door. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about when you go to Miami to shop. Or is it now Fort Lauderdale? Or is it now Orlando? If you're going to hire now, I think it's West Palm Beach now for some people, eh? Yeah, y'all know. And I mean, Bahamians get lost all the time looking for the door. They know there's a place, there's a Walmart somewhere around here. They could smell it. Now, <laughs> okay, here's something to remember. When you think of Walmart, look at me now, do you think of the door? Absolutely never. What do you think of? All the things. Ooh, there it is. And you will get lost 10 minutes, 20 minutes to find that door. Once you see the big W, it's like heaven has arrived. Jesus has come down and touched me. Ooh, there's the big W. And you walk in there and your life is transformed. The anointing comes upon you. You tell them, give me two cards. When you want to attract people, you don't promote the door. The goal is to promote the merchandise, not the door. The message is the country, not the border control. We preach about the border. The message of the country. Uh, the country's quality of life and the benefits attracts citizenship. Please write this down. It's very important. This helps you organize, reorganize your programs on your TV, see? It helps you readjust your radio program. It helps you readjust how you witness the people. Your focus should be the quality of life in the country and the benefits of living in it. Do you know why the Bahamas became the second leading banking center in the Caribbean? Not because of who was, in, who was prime minister. The benefits of putting your money here for the past 50 years with no taxes is what brought the money here. Now recently they've been kind of adjusting that and money been going out. Because people don't necessarily like Bahamians, you know. They don't love you, that's why they build here. They love the environment. And that includes no taxes. All right. Luke 16. Jesus said, the law and the prophets have been preached until when? John. Since that time, the good news of what? The kingdom of God is being preached. Now watch this. And everyone, who? Everyone is doing what? Forcing his way to get into that country. Listen, how come the people ain't forcing their way to get into Christianity? They don't want Christianity. Because Christianity is built on a door, not a building. See, when the Muslim talks to you, they compare Muhammad with Jesus. That's why it ain't working. If you tell them, look, let's forget Jesus. What's the benefit of Islam? You're sick, you're depressed, you're poor, you can't find something to eat, you're worshiping cows. Come on, let's talk about, let's not talk about Hinduism. Don't let's talk about uh, Maharaj, Baha'i Lullah. Let's talk about the benefits. In our country, we eat cows. In your country, you worship cows. You starving, we fat. Let's talk about the benefits. Hinduism, eh? Some of the wrong things, see? People really are not looking for Jesus. You keep telling them they are. They're not. They're looking for things. They're looking for a good life. Oh, listen to me. 
Now, let me, let me tell you why I want to talk about the Bahamas in America. The Bahamas has one of the most difficult problems in the region. More people are trying to come from other countries to the Bahamas. Our number one issue socially is immigration. You all think, think for this. Why? Because somebody told them, if you can just get there. So they come by boats. They come by swimming. They put barrels with styrofoam and put a little rope on it. We gotta get, they're trying everything just to get on any land that's called the Bahamas. Once they get there, they say, ooh, huh. And they start building little houses on the land. Why? Because someone told them the land, the opportunities, the benefits. If you just get there, your life will change. They don't care who the prime minister is. If we want to find the perfect parenting model, we need look no further than the relationship between God the Father and God the Son. Jesus was just like his father because they were of the same essence. In every way Jesus was the prefect representation of his father. He even told his disciples plainly, anyone who has seen me has seen the father. John 14-9 NIV